When is the right time to quit your job and start a business? And we are talking here about leaving your job in a good, exciting way. Many of us have dreamed or maybe even started some kind of side hustle, even as doctors. But how will you know that it is the right time to make that side gig something a little bit more serious? And so with the combined wisdom of Mr. Scott Pape, who is the author of the funniest personal finance book I've ever read in my life and my own recent experience, let's guide you on that adventure from dream to reality. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike, a GP working in Manchester, UK, and I'm also a university tutor at one of the medical schools. Uh, yeah, about that last bit. I actually handed in my resignation last week, so won't be saying that anymore, I'm afraid. Uh, let's just stick with the GP bit, shall we? In this short video, I will introduce you to Mr. Scott Pape, who is an Australian finance guy who is also the author of the best-selling, which means well over 1 million copies, book called The Barefoot Investor. And let's share with you a recipe to know exactly when it's time to move on. Now I'm sure you've guessed this already, but my side hustle is well, you're watching it right now. So I started my YouTube channel at the tail end of last year, spending hours and hours watching tutorials, learning how to film and edit, all the while making mistake after mistake on this beautiful journey of failing forwards. I was doing this on weekends and late evenings, and I have finally reached a stage where people have recognized the value of my presentation style and production. And so paid gigs started coming in. Now I didn't ask for money, it was just offered to me. So my first paid gig was this video, which was sponsored by TrueLink and is still one of my most popular videos. And the honest reason I started this YouTube channel was I thought I would be raking in millions just through the sheer amount of views that the people I was in love with were making, primarily my forever unrequited love, Ali Abdel. But it turns out getting a million views is harder than you think, or actually maybe you know how hard it is, and it was just me being a little bit delusional. But then a second paid gig came in from the Salford CCG, and that was a lot more money. And I mean a lot more money. And when that money finally hit my bank account, I was like, I just spent a year working at the university and just made pretty much the same with those three videos. And so when I finally landed my third paid gig, I knew it was time to move on. So Scott Pape refers to this exact idea and calls it swinging on the trapeze, which I'm pretty sure is some kind of circus analogy. So this principle is described in the chapter with the apt title, Double Your Income. Now this book is not exactly geared towards medics because often doctors work so hard in their day-to-day -day jobs that all they want to do after a grueling 12 hour shift is probably get drunk or just watch Netflix. Uh, preferably both actually, but GPs especially, we are often really conscious of the importance of a good work-life balance. And so it is actually really common to see GPs with side gigs. Now some good examples are GPs I've personally met and who are super nice, like Gandhi from eGP Learning or Tommy from Medics Money. So what Scott Pape says is if you have a side gig, don't let go of that swinging bar, which is your secure paycheck, until you're safely holding the next paycheck from your successful side business. Now although this seems pretty obvious, sometimes entrepreneurs can get so excited and borderline upset obsessive about a new idea, that in that manic creative phase, <laughs> well, we might end up doing something rash. Now I currently have this brilliant medtech startup idea that I will hopefully be able to share with you soon, but the evening I came up with the idea, I was this close to actually quitting my GP job, which my dependents would probably have a difficult time accepting. The danger here is thinking, well I'm so busy, how about I quit my job and then I'll finally be able to spend enough time giving my side hustle a proper shot. That is a trap, because sometimes the structure of a steady job will actually make you more productive in your downtime. Because, as Scott Pape puts it, rather harshly to be honest, if you can't handle very very hard work, you're probably not cut out for running your own business. So start doing things for free in your spare time, perfect your art through trial and error, and money will start rolling in on its own. And when your side gig starts paying more than your normal gig, let go of that trapeze bar and enjoy the ride. That's it guys, I hope this has inspired you to get started, and if you have already started, to keep on building your little kingdom. Now, if you are a medic, tell me what your side gig is. Maybe we can collaborate. And if you're not a medic, well, tell me as well. What do you work on on the side? And uh, let's keep it professional here. Remember guys, you can always email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.